Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And if this goes up, hopefully on Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to you. I hope you're spending it with people that you love and uh, surround yourself with a lot of things that you're thankful for. And I am definitely thankful for this channel and all of you who watch and my family and my friends, my coworkers and everyone who's been supporting me, especially this last year uh, going through all the stuff I've been through. So again, I'm very, very grateful and, uh, and thank you for being here. So today we're going to do something fun. We're going to do another trailer reaction or a short film reaction, essentially, uh, which is from Marvel's Midnight Suns. Uh, they released a new one called The Daywalker, uh, and it's going to be a Blade short film. And I'm so, so excited. I always say pumped. I know I'm trying to like diversify my vocabulary. I always get pumped for stuff, but I do. I get really pumped up. Even at my age, these characters, especially Blade, to me, he's the guy who started the Marvel Universe. Like uh, everyone, you know, we attribute a lot of it to Iron Man. And I know there was Captain America movies and the Dolph Lundgren, you know, Punisher movie and other movies before. But to me, the Marvel Universe began with Blade. And it also, like, set my love for the supernatural side of Marvel uh, in a big way. Although I was already a Ghost Rider fan before, Blade movie really, you know, uh, helped bring it to the live action, to real life. And ever since then, I've always wanted a Midnight Suns movie. But I will definitely be happy with a video game for the time being until a movie gets developed. And hopefully one day we do get one. So today's prequel short, The Daywalker, we're going to jump into that. I'm going to put a link down below if you want to watch it without me talking over it. Go ahead and do that and uh, and support these guys. I will be live streaming this game for sure when it comes out. Uh, I believe it comes out December 2nd, and I am off that day. Coincidentally, I didn't even have to ask for the day off because I totally would have uh, to play a couple hours of this. So we're going to be over on Twitch playing Midnight Suns for sure on day one. So without further ado, let's dive right into this and check it out. And I cut out the previously on again, because there's always like an intro, previously on video. Um, and this one was cool because the previously on was narrated by Wolverine temporarily. It's Steve Bloom, but he was like, you know, previously on Midnight Suns. I was like, yeah, awesome. Wolverine, let's do this. Um, and yeah, Ghost Rider last week, we watched Ghost Rider's episode. The week before that, it was uh, Magic and Scarlet Witch, I believe. And... Uh, and then before that was the, the prequel, the setup of who Lilith and the Hunter are and Sarah, the caretaker. And I believe hopefully next week will be Nico and that'll kind of round out. I think there's just five of these. So, um, and that'll be the last episode we get, you know, for the, before the release of the game or will be the same day as the game comes out. So yeah, I love this intro though. It's really cool. So I'm wondering if they're sticking with that animation style, kind of the CG one. So we'll see. Probably. I mean, it makes it doesn't make sense to change now because <laughs> they, yeah, look, it looks like that the CG style. So that's cool. Look at those gargoyles. So I guess yeah. So demons have just kind of been running around. Here we go. Oh, they call him Dampier. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, awesome! <laughs> awesome! That's cool. Oh, he's stealth killing them. They didn't even notice. That's that's awesome. Yeah, the animation style is, is it works. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that's so awesome! And they're just silent. <laughs> just shooting little stakes. That's awesome. Oh, God, that's so... I, and here's the thing, is the, the Ash thing, I'm pr I'm uh, almost 100% sure that comes from the movies. Like, uh, in the comics, when he sliced vampires like this, it that style, I don't believe uh, they burst into ashes. Um, but I love that about the... Um, about the movie. I thought that was such a visually, it was so cool. When he's in that nightclub at the beginning, he's just stabbing people and they're just evaporating. That's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> it's not even a challenge for him. What I, that's what I love. Sarah. Ah, oh, she called him Eric. Is this how you treat an old friend? That's you prefer a... I follow through? Fair <laughs> point. Oh. Whoa. Oh, 
That's an understatement. That's cool. I'd like you to meet Magic, Ileana Rasputin. She is quiet. I didn't even know she was standing there. And this is Blade, also known as... Just Blade. So why are you here? Yeah, don't call me Eric. I'm putting a team <laughs> together. I know that isn't your thing, but... I'm in. Just like that? Huh. Just like that. So, what are we hunting? <laughs> Dude, I, I love it. I love it. Oh, I love that so much. All right, I'm going to let the gameplay play out here. Um, I love, that's actually so... That's that's so... Uh, I, I just... I'm, they're channeling Wesley Snipes, which I think is fantastic. Um, but when he's like... She's like, I'm, I know you're not a team player, but we're putting together teams. Like, I'm in. <laughs> but he, and she's like, why? And he's just like, I want to know where we're hunting. And just that big smile on his face. Um, with his fangs showing like that I that's cool it kind of channels like I know in the the third blade movie he was kind of like you know uh yeah I'm not running around with kids you know to fight monsters um but assuming he this blade has had experience with teams before maybe he's like yeah okay I don't it's not really about who I'm teaming up with right now as long as there's something to kill because as you can see there's there's no challenge for him he's just slicing those things apart and I, th I guess they were vamp I thought they were demons at first but I guess they are vampires they're just like really you know pale skinny you know Nosferatu looking vampires um, who have lost their humanity and he just killed them no problem didn't even break a sweat so maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's just kind of like, you know what? I've been doing this a long time. It's it's not fun anymore, <laughs> or it's not a challenge, um, or I'm or I'm near the end. Maybe he's killed a lot, so many vampires now that there's just he's kind of like I I need something to do. So uh, I I dig it. I don't know. I dig it. And hopefully in the game we get to see him up against other things. Like I know we're gonna see. You know we'll have a venom boss fight. So Blade versus Venom is gonna be really cool because I'm definitely bringing Blade along in that battle. Um, but just all the the different characters he might fight and demons but hopefully they throw some werewolves and stuff into to the game um that would be really cool or if they do a dlc later that's more um other monster based stuff which would be really cool so yeah anyway i dug that i thought that was a lot of fun like all the shorts have been they're getting me more excited for this game and i've already you know i'm getting already past peak excitement these are just some of my favorite characters in marvel universe uh and to add in the other heroes like Spider-Man and Venom and you know and uh, or anti-hero I guess in that case and Wolverine and Captain America and stuff and Iron Man it's like that's awesome it makes me feel like I'm playing a big crossover event but that the core of the event is like a supernatural story so it'd be like if Ghost Rider's monthly book had like a big event and Iron Man and the other characters were involved in it and that's what this feels like and I've always wanted something like that again because we haven't had anything that like that since the 90s minus a few like little things here and there like smaller events but like damnation and stuff but this is like i want i wanted this like on an epic scale like you know for the marvel universe so i'm glad we're getting it in video game form very excited you know obviously i like for axis i like the games they've made and uh you know i love i love the XCOM. i love their stuff i love tactical rpgs the adding of the cards we're gonna see how well i do with that uh because i think that'll be the thing i get frustrated with but uh so far what i've seen in the gameplay it doesn't seem like that frustrating and, and some early reviews are coming out people who played the game and a lot of people have been actually praising the combat and uh and saying they wish there was more story um at certain parts because you get so enveloped in the combat and then going back to the abbey so that's some criticisms i've heard already too which is fine you know because you you're in control i think of what you do at the abbey you can sit around and talk to people and gain experience or you can get right into battle so the fact that we have that choice um you know means whenever i get bored of the abbey i can go right into battle hopefully so um so yeah i'm not too too worried about some of that but uh, the game itself december 2nd we'll be playing it for sure there's my twitch channel uh you know make sure you follow me over there and we'll be playing it live on there and then i'll be editing some of that footage and putting it up on uh on my gaming channel uh which is also linked down below so thank you so much for watching the show as always let me know what you think of this and what you're most excited for what characters you want to put on your team because for me i'll be playing as the hunter blade and ghost rider for sure but on missions where i don't have to have the hunter involved uh, like side quests and stuff i'll probably put magic on the team because i'm a big fan of magic as well so let me know what your dream team is of these characters down below and we'll keep talking down there thanks so much for watching the show like share subscribe all that fun stuff and we'll see you in the future peace